welcome back to my channel today's video is the simple yet glamorous makeup look and I've also recreated this hairstyle that I wore to a modeling event um, over the weekend and a lot of you have been requesting this makeup look and I know you guys want to see this hairstyle so um, let's just jump straight into today's video Okay guys, so I've already done my eyebrows. I'm just going in and cleaning up the top and the bottom with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the color called Pure Beige. So just applying the rest of this product to my eyelid, this is going to prime my eyes for the eyeshadow. To set my eyelid, I'm using my Fit Me Maybelline powder. This is the color called Buff Beige. I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm going to set that eye. First going in with the Slays For Days Matte Palette. Going in with the shade right here and I'm going in with a blending brush. I'm going to apply this just above the crease. Next using this shade right here and I'm going to apply it with a softer, smaller blending brush. This is going to add more of a warm tone to the eyeshadow. So I'm just applying this over that brown shadow. Make sure to use a soft hand when you are blending. You don't really want it to be dull so just use a light hand whilst blending. The next shade I'm going to use is this bronze shade right here. I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to smoke this into the crease. Very lightly just smoked in some black eyeshadow into the sockets of my eye nothing too dramatic um, I just want to add a little bit of depth into the socket using my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer I want it to be a little bit more blended than a cut crease so I'm just applying a little bit of concealer just so that the pigment can stick and look brighter Okay, so next I'm using the Morphe 350F palette. So the shade that I'm going to be using is this gold shade right here. Okay, so then I'm going to add a little bit of this shade right here. It's more of a bronzy type of golden -y shade. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the center and kind of blend it out. Okay, so lastly I'm just going to go into this dark brown shade and I'm going in with a small blending brush. I'm just going to blend out that shimmer shade and the outer corner so that everything blends in perfectly and there's no harsh lines anywhere. For liner today I'm using the Liquid Ink Eyeliner by Essence. Okay 
Hey guys, so for lashes today I'm using the Beauty Co Lashes. This is the mink set in the style number four. I am literally in love with this set. So going back into my Morphe palette and I'm going to pick up the lightest shade here. It is a white shimmer shade. I'm going to apply this color on the inner corners. So for my face, I use the Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser. This is by Maybelline New York. So you guys, I love this primer. You guys know that I love the Smashbox primer. But for a drugstore primer, this is definitely the primer to buy. Um, it blurs out the pores so beautifully. So I apply it to my cheeks um, and I apply a good amount of this primer. So I use my Allegal Pro foundation. This is the illuminating one and this is the color called Tan. Yeah, just going to apply some of this Allegal all over my face. So I was really generous with this foundation. As you guys can see, I really packed it on. Um, so yeah, so once I apply it i use a brush this is a flat top type of kabuki brush and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to i'm going to spread out the foundation with my brush Okay, so next I'm going in, where is my brush? Okay, so next I'm going in with this light shade. This is a, this is one of my favorite shades um, in my highlight and contour circle by Crayolin. So you guys know that I love this uh, circle everywhere I go. It's a huge help to me. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. Okay, going to use my beauty blender and I'm going to blend out that highlight. Okay, so I'm not going to look down. I don't want any creases in my lower lash line and I have a problem with creases in my lower lash line. So I'm just going to grab some of that Benai Banana Powder and I am going to bake this under eye area. So you guys, baking helps so much with um, your makeup, especially if you are using highlight and contour. Um, it allows your skin and your makeup to look flawless the entire day so i'm going to pack this powder all over the areas where i've highlighted and i will dust it out in a few minutes Now I'm going to contour. I'm going in to this brown shade. Next, going to use this angled brush.
Okay, so all I did was go in with some powder on either sides of my nose. This is going to allow my contour to stand out and look more um, narrow. So um, I'm going to let that bake for a little bit while. There's still some powder that um, I have on my under eye, which I will dust away. So I'm going back into this palette and I'm going to pick up the gold right there and I'm going to add it to the brow bone. I don't really pack on a lot of lower lash line colors so for this look I'm going into my Morphe palette and I'm going to pick up this orange shade um, I'm going to just like smoke out the bottom lash line of it I'm going to use the brown from my Switch Beauty matte palette I'm going to use this brown right there and I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Most of the powder actually gets um, soaked up into your face. Whatever excess powder is on your face, you can just dust that off. For highlighter, I went into my bronzer palette. Went in with this golden shade and I mixed it with this light pink shade as well. For my lips, I use the Essence Lip Liner, I believe. I will leave it in the description. But today I'm going in with the Natural Cream um, Lip Liner. This is by Ali Girl. And it's almost like the same color. This is just a little bit on the taupe side compared to the Essence one. Honestly, you guys, I color my lips in with lip liner. I think I've been doing that for the longest time. Last but not least, I'm going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. This is the Essence Rock and Roll Triple XL Volume Mascara. So that is it for the makeup look. Moving on to hair real quickly. It's so cold today. Please forgive me if I have to use this big jacket because it's so comfy. So all I did was go and create a center part. And then just before the crown of my head, I split my hair down the sides uh, right to my ear. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is from the top I'm just going to pick up a small section. This is the part that is going to be teased. Um, this is just around the crown from this section that I have in my hand. I'm bringing that forward. And this section that I have in my hand, I'm going to tease. So not really to, I'm not really gonna tease it too much. And I'm going to back home this section. So the same piece, I'm going to just clip it away here on the Now I'm creating a small ponytail at the bottom of my hair. Then I'm going to turn it into a small twisty bun and I'm going to clip it down. So basically a small bun like this and I'm just going to pin it down. Even if you have those small parts coming out, it's fine because you're still going to cover it up. Next, I'm just going to sort out the front and I'm just going to comb it neatly over the ear. And I'm just going to pull it to the back. And it's going to go under the bun. So I'm just going to pin this under the bun.
going to do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm going to take this top section and I'm just going to neatly set it into place. Um, next I'm just going to pun down this top section over the bun. So I'm going to pun it over the section right here. So the rest of the hair, I'm just going to neatly um, overlap it over the small bun that I have at the bottom and I'm going to overlap it and then pun underneath the bun so everything looks neat. makeup tutorial i hope you guys really enjoyed it uh if you guys liked this video then you know what to do give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comment section on what you guys want to see next and i will definitely get it up for you guys um yeah that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye